So in this video I'm going to take a look at temperature, heat and specific heat capacity. Uh, just to remind you what temperature is. If you remember we've been saying temperature depends on the speed of particles though we use the word speed of particles the technical or scientific word for this is kinetic energy and this word comes from the Greek word the, an adjective kinesis which means motion so this is the energy of motion you even see this word used in uh, words like cinema meaning motion picture if you want um, so temperature depends on the kinetic energy of the particles the other idea we've had is heat and this depends on two things it depends on temperature and mass normally temperature in degrees Celsius and mass in kilograms we now move on to a third idea and this is called the specific heat capacity of a substance and different substances have different specific heat capacities what this means is the amount of heat needed to raise the temperature of one kilogram mass by one degree centigrade and that's how we actually define this specific heat capacity you can think of it as different substances can carry different amounts of heat water can carry lots of heat air not very much heat for example um, let's take a closer look at this idea though and let's imagine that we are heating one liter of water so one kilogram of water and we're going to heat this this is one kilogram of water and we are going to heat the water and measure the temperature and then if we draw a little graph to show the change in temperature against the heat added so let's say here one zero degrees Celsius one degree two degrees so on so that's degrees Celsius and here we've got heat added and we find that we need to add 
let's say, this much heat to get to one degree centigrade. So we could show a graph of this if we start our heating at zero. We would have a graph like this. Now, the amount of heat that we've added here is called the specific heat capacity. We could make it short and call it specific heat capacity. So the amount of heat added to raise the temperature of one kilogram of a substance by one degree centigrade. Now you might be asking the question, how do we measure the heat added? Well, we need a new unit for this, and the unit is called the joule. And we measure heat in joules. And that is the topic of the next video.